Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and we are back with the Lobotomy Corporation. Here, we, are, we have brand new content ready for us. Well, I say brand new content. What I mean is brand new storyline because of this place. We've seen some of the brand new content, haven't we, Sir Fraser Chess and McBastard? So, let us begin by basically figuring out what we need to do with all these um, with all these guys. So, how are we going to do that? That's easy. First, we're going to take we're going to hire We're just going to hire the rank 5 employee. Hello, Delhi. It's all uh, yeah, we're going to rely on you for the for Ashiar for the Ashiar section while Piper tries and figures out what the hell these two things are. Cuz I remember uh, oh yeah. Oh wait, we need cannon fodder for those things, don't we? Hello, cannon fodder. Nice to see you. Orga. Orga. Wow, we can get Germans in here too. Alright, everyone. Okay, so it does actually just make a new section down here. I was actually legitimately interested. Whether it was like it was in the, the, that title screen there where we just have to click a button to switch between them and thus we can't see them all at once. And what the hell is with this section down here? It looks so weird. Also, you look bloody awesome. I hope you're not deadly in the slightest. Huh, you look like a WoW level creature. S no, uh, he level, sorry. You're WoW level. So, obviously, first up, we're going to send you to go do that. Then, we're going to send you to... Instinct it. Sure. And then we're going to go down here and get you to incite the golem. Because why the hell not? Also, we need to figure out more about you. Don't we, Mr. Fr Mr. McBastard? So, Camille. It likes regression. We know it does. Give it a go. I'm also testing a theory. Because I realised that the, when editing the last episode, I didn't actually technically do a theory which I came up with in the video. Well, you look completely fine. Uh, go do it again. You do white damage. Alright, you both seem to do white damage, so, no, no, oh, I need 20 points, okay, never mind, I won't just bother learning the basic information about you, what about you, you, I need 16, wow, you're both bastards in this matter, how's, okay, we got some information about Mick Bastard, what's he like, he hates everything, okay, alright, so, I'm gonna try this one more time, and, cause, I think, what just happened? Uh, manager, Julian from the security team has gone nuts. Can you check it? I think Olga from the security team is unstable. Please check them and it looks like the other guy's dead. Piper. Um. You know, I'm not making a comment, Piper. Sap extracted from a nameless gigantic tree on the edge of the world. Subjects who consume the giant tree sap, tree sap instantly recover full HP. That's got to be too good to be true. Uh. Well, I guess we can learn instinct with you. Do you? Oh, you're actually not bad with instinct. I'm going to leave you to basically recover your HP a little, considering we know it does white damage. And then we're going to get you to learn more. As for this guy, did you enjoy your insight? You're common with insight. Okay. What about attachment? You adore attachment. Why do I think that's going to get her, this guy killed? And I... Oh. Alright, we're gonna... No, we're gonna learn the... Forget learning your name. We don't give a damn about your name, because we don't like you. Work on... Okay, we're learning your name anyway. Work on... Sure. 
Shuan Del Freud McBastard must be must proceed while the containment unit is out of surveillance camera sight. I was right. You can't look at him. When watching McBastard's containment unit for more for five seconds or more, Quipcoth counter will be lowered. Okay. Interesting. Oh wow. Oh wait, in manager maybe i should have been the manager the central team is no more ha huh. um you're a thing i had a feeling the guy would just get killed instantly i like you you look pretty damn cool i will say that Thank you for that little bit of enlightenment. And now we're just going to learn all these and see what it actually likes. It likes instinct a lot. Okay, we know that. We've learned that. What about this guy? We haven't actually told him to work again. Okay, everybody. Chop, chop. Back to the beginning. So today we have Maxwell. Alright, Maxwell. It's nice to meet you. Let's get started. Well then, because it actually seemed alright with Insight, keep working on Insight. This guy likes his regression, so try that. And you really like Instinct, so go do that. Also, I forgot to get cannon fodder for the tree sap. whoop de doo good job me, let's move on till we find something new. Your P.O. box is, not, is, is 18. Same size as hers. This guy's is 20. When employee Andre panics during work, Quith Koth counter will be lowered. Okay. One day Lobotomy will sort out its volume controls. Try it again. What did we learn about Mr. McBastard? McBastard will immediately stop moving when it is out of the camera's sight. Take it into account when suppressing it. I wonder if that means I can do that to abuse the suppression anomaly ca thing I'm meant to be doing. Also, what do you learn about ears? You're common with everything else. I thought you might be. When t Temperance Level 1 employee completed work, Quipquoth counter was decreased. The liquid... The liquid, the dreaming current... Generated in a Pacific section while escaping. Drastically reduce the movement of employees and deal red damage over time. SP of the employees in the section will... Will... Gain healing over time. Well, you've got Temperance Level 5, so I don't think you need to worry about that crap. As for everything else... I think this guy basically... Loses his... Steals the hearts of those he kills or something? Maybe? Have we got enough information upon this guy? P.O. Box 8. Warm-hearted woodsman. I think I understand what, how you work now. I, I, I'm calling it. I think I know how you work. But I'm willing to just wait a couple of attempts so we can give it a try. How many more uses have I got on this thing to do? Why'd the screen just shake? I'm bad cold, cold hearted woodsman. Stop shaking my screen, woodsman. The dreaming current. That's what it's called. It does white damage and has a P.O. box of 20. That is good. And you've actually got some really good armor. Like, actually good armor. It reduces everything, including pale damage, and you can make three of it. It doesn't have a specialization, but everything about it is good. 
As for McBastard, we now know everything about McBastard. Quipcloth counter two. How do we not know its defenses? Its armor is honestly bad. Let's get one more job on the Dreaming Current before we finish. Stop shaking my screen, you moron. Again, fix that problem. Don't have Quipquoth counters on the, the tools. It doesn't work. And when you escape, you are vulnerable to red damage and very vulnerable to blue damage, as is everyone. Okay. You seem pretty simple to get along with, Mr. Dreaming Current, so I hope we can do well together. But for now, we're going to restart the day. Okay, so, we've now discovered everything about the Dreaming Current. Nice and quickly. We still need to discover about the sap, so everyone... So, lots of cannon fodder. We know everything about McBastard now. We're never getting McBastard again. And then beyond that, we have... What's his name? These two. Yeah, how do we not know your weaknesses? We even know this guy's weaknesses. You make no sense. Okay, so... Mr. Woodsman, I think I understand how you work. So, first I'm going to attempt an attachment to see to see if that happens because you basically hijacked someone's heart twice and this time it was on different jobs before I thought it was just the attachment now I'm thinking if it's if they work on you twice like you are like the teddy bear does there I now know everything about the teddy bear too I'm surprised I didn't before but then again I don't really care about it so I'm going to not use you, you're not cannon fodder. I'm going to use one of you to do attachment on this thing, and we're going to see if that basically causes your heart to be stolen. Also, I want to see the process of your heart being stolen, if I'm completely honest. Okay, you didn't get your heart stolen, so that's proof that it wasn't because of the attachment. So, if we now learn the managerial work, Quipquoth found a bad, yes. We're quip a, an employee whose temperance level is over level 3 completed the work. Lowering the Quipquoth counter. When an employee enters the enters and the Quipquoth counter is 0, he will die immediately. Then the abnormality will escape. Ah! So that's how you work, you bastard. Over level 3. So they need level 3 temperance, basically. So basically, if I just used Eden. So if I now send Tamiya in there, Tamiya's going to die, correct? Also, can you guys all just use this sap? Please. According to the exploration team, there were large numbers of green-coloured life forms around the tree. The sap makes them satiate, satiate, satiated and contained potent healing powers. A side effect found from the subjects who consumed the giant tree sap, si subjects who endured the, effect, the side effect exploded and died within 20 to 30 seconds after consuming the giant tree sap, dealing white damage to the entire section. Yes, you just died. That means you have one Quipquoth for a start. Okay. Boom. There it went. Okay. Literally, just keep using it. We can do that with you. Boom. And you died just as you did the... Th okay, you didn't do the 13th. Either way, Piper can go do the 13th. Because we're not caring anyway. We're not keeping this anyway because of this guy. And can you stop, bloody. Oh! That was pretty cool. I mean, it was totally grosser, gruesome and all that, but it was pretty cool. 
the idea that you just are taking people and stuffing them in your chest. You know what? Do you do it to everyone or... Yes, you do. I wonder what happens if we let you do it enough. Do you gain a super form or something? I mean, we're not keeping this day anyway, so I might as well let you just go ahead. Some of the employees who, dra who drank it melted, leaving smoldering green remains. The, ex the ex experiment confirmed that there is a positive relationship between the amount of tree giant tree sap consumed and the probability of exploding. Other, ver other various experiments confirm that the probability of melting rapidly increases as more sap is consumed. Many wondered how such a large tree could prosper on the barren outskirts. The life forms who consumed the sap were, were its nutrients. The tree reaped from what it sowed. Okay. So far I'm learning all of these tool abnormalities have no purpose. Really. They're just there. They don't help in the slightest. So you two, go kill him. You, go kill him. You all, attempt to go kill him. Everyone, let's go. Let's feed him our... Wait, why am I feeding him? Him ourselves. We lose our items there. No, we're not... You know what? I'm not interested enough, Mr. Woodcutter. I'm just leaving you. Okay, so now... Because we know everything up here, I don't need to care, even this thing. Because apparently that was the easiest thing to learn everything about ever. So, we have these two. You ha- this person has less than three temperance. So, that means this thing should be perfectly fine with it. Absolutely fine. Next. We got this thing here, which we don't know anything about, and the last time I saw it, it basically escaped on its own for no goddamn reason. So, try regression, because I don't know. Mo most of the new, ab a lot of the new abnormalities are actually okay with, with regression. Because the game realized, because the developers realized we needed some regression abnormalities. Oh, that's pretty good. You like regression. That's cool. I was right then. You hate relationship. Ah! Well done. Well done. No, you're going to keep moving over there. You're not suppressing. So, so far what I'm noticing is that this woodcutter thing is a complete other bastard. You do white damage also. And you've escaped for some reason. Alright, let's go with the managerial works, because we clearly need them. Ray, an employee an employee whose justice level is below level 3, completed work lowering the quipcloth counter. Other employees whose fortitude exceeds level 3 experience the same. You know what? I want to see abnormality fight abnormality. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Time for the fight of the centuries, ladies and gentlemen. We've got this moth thing versus the warm-hearted woodsman. Let's see who is going to win the day. Bang! Says the says the moth thing. Uh, the woodcutter just can't seem to be deal with him. Bang! Man, this is the first time I've ever seen two abnormalities actually fight each other. Oh, and the woodcutter just healed himself. Well done, Mr. Woodcutter. Bang! The woodcutter is not entertained by Mr. B by all the moths. He is keep gonna keep beating him down until he's dead and gone. Oh, and they've moved positions now. Where are they heading? Mr. Moth keeps trying to back away from the woodcutter because he seems to know he's at a loss unless he keeps his distance. Oh, but he's using a moth attack so that he... So, and he's no longer keeping that distance. Both are, immu are pretty resistant to each other's attacks. How's this gonna work out for the pair of them? Where'd they go? Ah, oh, there they are!
It seems like a pretty even match fight at the moment, yeah, folks. And the woodsman just healed himself. Bad going, Mr. Mothman. Killing all those innocent people. And now both abnormalities have lost interest in each other and this fight is going nowhere. Bye! We're going to have to go to the judge's decision on this. Yes? Yes? And the judge judges call it! The Woodsman is the winner! Well done, Mr. Wo Woodsman! What would you like your prize to be? I'm afraid we can't grant you that! Oh wait, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to talk to my superiors about whether I can actually grant you that. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this fight, and we'll be back tomorrow with hopefully not another one. Okay, go okay, so today we have our employee, uh, Basil, who has less than three, who has three fortitude and no more. And then we've got Courtney, who has three, what's it called? Temperance. So hopefully we should be able to learn about each, all the, these guys. And what did you just say? But are these abnormality really safe? They don't look anything like safe to me. Of course they're not bloody safe! Why the hell would you think they are? The warm-hearted woodsman. And he's still got two Quipquoth counter, so we can go learn more about him. Never mind. The funeral of dead butterflies. So that's who you are. Okay. And you still have lots of Quipquoth. So, you're not too bad. Shame you only got 16 points, which in turn makes you completely, utterly useless. And now we know everything about you, Mr. Funeral. You're vulnerable to white damage, which is the exact same damage you deal, which is hilarious. You have Bayonetta pistols. And then you've got some pretty alright armor. Excluding the fact that it's... Whatchamacallit. Also, why the hell is that wow when it does two damage? I suppose I don't know how fast, very fast, actually is. I've drunk more than five cups of coffee so far. Well, you know what, Basil? You're actually going to live. Because the only thing we have left to discover information on is Mr. Woodcutter. And he kind of doesn't want to be cooperative today. So we're going to have to go back out and make a new character for him. And so here we have Morty, who is currently working on the warm-hearted woodsman. I did not b level you up that much, Mr. Morty. Again, you lower to zero. Are you sure it's over level three and not level three? Because it seems a little bugged in that scenario. You know? Okay. How many hours to to go until I can leave the office. Too many, Eleanor. Too many. You know, Dreaming Current, I can't help but think you look absolutely disgusting. I didn't mean no offense by that, it's just an observation I'm having while looking at you. Well, Mr. Dreaming Current, I do love your armor, and I'm actively trying to complete today now, actually. Until that, until we get the Quipquoth counter on that thing, then I just quit. And Piper went nuts. Okay, we're not dealing with that then. What type of damage did you do? White as well. Why haven't I got to equipped with white armor? All right, we're leaving again. Wait, these things, these weapons have special effects. I'm guessing the armor does too. Maybe some of them. Okay, one piece of armor has a special effect, but most importantly, fix your volume controls, lobotomy. lobotomy. But secondly, most important, the weapons have special effects. I did not bloody realize this, and this makes a whole lot of difference about how effective they possibly are. So now I'm going to have to go through through all of them and check whether they are whether I ne they're good or not. Yay. 
Okay. I think I've got everyone equipped how they need to be. I've spent bloody 30 lob points on everything. For the new day. Still only got one person in each place, which is probably not the way I should be doing things. But at the same time, it's one of the best... The few ways, because you got an elite employee. But for now, it looks like we have no way of actually avoiding the... What are they called? Ordeals. Because everything is basically just too... Guaranteed to give us it. So, for now, I'm just gonna keep working on the Dreaming Current in an attempt to increase her fortitude level so she can get it to level 3. You're not doing very well with the Dreaming Current, are you, Piper? I don't blame you. It is pretty damn hideous. But yeah, the, dream the ordeals are unavoidable and we properly need to counter them now at this point. Because it just doesn't give you enough jobs to be able to not do them. So, yeah. You know what? Forget the Dreaming Current. Piper, work on the Snow Queen. We prefer her anyway. Okay, fuck the Snow Queen then. Snow Queen's not in a good mood today. We're working on the but we're working on the Dream Current. Sure. What kind of stu what kind of stupid work the damned admin administrator would tell me to do? Okay, you have to give it to the game. They're not the best. They haven't quite got their translations fixed yet. But it's fine. We understand. We're fine with it. Honestly, we've come to expect it and make fun of it and laugh at it. We can't do anything. It's too late to change. What do you need to do anything about, Piper? You're working here at the lobotomy. The safest place on Earth. Literally, we actually have a place called... Known as the safest place on Earth. The one time I don't want a freaking quip cloth on the, the fucking Snow Queen. Are you for real? Actually, why do I care? She doesn't have a quip cloth counter in the first place. She can't do anything. And then the other one's on a freaking... is on the freaking ballerina machine. So it's garbage. Yeah, god no. We're not avoiding the orde ordeal today. We're just gonna stick it out and fight the damn thing. Whatever it may be. I'm sure we'll end up with better results. Eleanor, you're back on duty. You know what that means? You're working on defresher chairs non-stop. Congratulations. I'm sure you're so happy about the fact we are now putting you back in charge again. And now Doomsday, what have we got? The Fruit of Understanding. To understand it, I don't know what this is. Dawn of Violet? I've never seen this before. What the fuck is this thingy? Vulnerable to white damage. Okay. What the fuck does it do? At least the things up there, the guys up there should be murdering. Are you doing black? Are you just doing black damage? You just radiate black damage. Is that all it is? Yeah, you're resistant to black damage. Go beat the hell into that thing. It's all over now. We're all dead. You're winning, woman. Hooray for game crashes. It's not like I only have to restart the entire day or anything. Yeah, This is gonna take bloody forever. So now I sit back in agony as I just keep doing the Snow Queen over and over and over again. Waiting for the day that I could not have to worry about doing her. Ugh. And we're about, and we're about to get quick cloth warning, of which we have to work on that one. And who? 
teddy bear. You know what? Fuck it. The teddy bear, it's a free job. We have nothing against working on the teddy bear. Once. The dawn, the dawn picture is red this time. Not white like it was last time. So I'm pretty sure the picture indicates who it is you're going to fight. So the fact it's red makes me think I'm going to fight the little things which produce, which basically send all the abnormalities mad. Which means I'm going to get grab you and you're going to move over there so that nothing can escape. What about down here? Only you can escape and you don't matter if we're not looking at you. So we're going to move you there. Uh, technically only this thing can escape. Yes, we have. Thank you very much. But then this one's the issue because we've got three down here that can basically escape or be annoying, like the wall gazer. Am I allowed to look at her now? Yeah, I think we are allowed to look at her with the camera now. Never used to be able to. Suppose McBastard's taken that job from her. If I can discover a way, a reliable way, to deal with any ordeal so that I don't have to deal, do this method that I am doing right now, I might enjoy this, I might start enjoying this game a lot more than what I am at the moment. I understand the reasoning for the ordeals. I agree that they are good. I agree that they add a little extra risk and need to the game. I just find them too unavoidable. But the fact we see that means we know they're gonna be it's going to appear. Meaning we should probably just grab all these guys and move them in there. Ready to kill whatever abnormality spawns. Frankly, you don't have Quipcoth counters, so the moment she is done dealing with the Snow Queen, she should come down and basically kill anything basically kill anything touching the the the, the shark. Okay, so, here's the thing. I only actually need 90 points left. Only 90. I could actually, theoretically, properly rush it at this point. Without worry. Properly. Probably. So I get about 15 from you, 15 from you, that's 30. 10 from you, that's 40. That's 40. 10, 50, 10, at least... Or well, like 10 down here, 60, 10, 10, okay, maybe 90's pushing it, but no, either way, I said we are going to fight an abnormality, we're going to fight off an ordeal, and fight them off we will, god damn it, and I am right about which one it was, where are they? You just bloody, bloody um, obliterated it, Gallia. I think so did you, Camille. So did Eleanor. Uh, you want to? You two want to move up there and deal with that? Kill that thing. We don't need all deals. Quap, it actually lowered the quip cloth. Okay. Uh, we're almost done with them. Uh, Camille. Go suppress that down there, please. That one's dead. How many are left? Just the one. Life means get desire. We did actually fight it off. Cool. Cool. We have a white noon. That means it's violet. That means it's ten horrible tentacle monsters. That means I'm not getting it. You can't make me. Alright. And we are done for the day. With zero casualties. 15 lob points gained. 
You gained your fortitude and justice. Wow. Apparently you get justice from just beating people up, which makes perfect sense, considering that's what's it's, that's the stat it's based on. So, yeah. Okay. We now get more story. At long last with this game. But first, we have to pick something. That's not a flower. That's not a flower. Order all the em all the employees to get away immediately. That's a good sign, but it's new, so I have to pick it. The final chapter ends with a sentence born again. And the chant always ends with eternal despair of the person chanting. Save us now and forevermore, the truth shall set us free. I like this one. It sounds poetic. So when we hit the second area, we go on to getting two abnormalities a day. Ooh. To the new manager, I've heard that you are a very you are a very valuable member of this community. Please keep up the good work along with your assistant, Ange assistant Angela. You will not find me in here, but I will believe we are will will finally meet we will finally meet soon the lobotomy corporation will never forget your devotion and effort regards from a ceo of the lobotomy corporation thank you a that's very nice of you to say seems you got a mail fr from a himself perhaps you've been recognized a is on a long journey for now as for all as as all the journeys end the final destination will be home which is this place it's the first thing I want to do if I ever get out of this monitor. I would walk as much as possible, taking in all the scenery as if I was capturing a million photos. The day is still cold, but we know that the winter is almost over. Can you see the flowers sprouting through the snow? Hi, I'm... No, that's a terrible voice. Hi, I'm... Tipereth. Tipereth. Gre gre greetings, I'm to here to Perth too. Are you twins? Because I'm actually genuinely interested on that. Of course, can't you see? We're twins. But if your question was a uh, was whether we are biological twins, then no. We are. So trying to differentiate us is meaningless. I'm res responsible for the central team. The team, the team, and the office are huge. It is difficult for me to cover alone. We are actually two. Isn't, well, isn't it fortunate? Well, since you survived long enough, I don't need to tell you about the basic stuff like abnormalities. No, if you disappoint me, I may disregard you. But you'll do fine. A word of advice. I'm not like the Seraphs, you know. Well, technically, I'm not that different. But what I want to say is that they're, they're, they're only good at acting as if they're busy when they're not. I can't believe we're the same Seraphs. Anyway, the central is where the story begins. I don't care if it will make you disappointed or interested. I'm only interested in your performance. I hope you will, I hope I will be an encouragement on to you. Hi, Tibbeth. Hi, Tibbeth. I'm... Hi, hi, Nitzak. The same. It's a plan for the cross-team training tomorrow. Please review it. There is an 88% chance for me rewriting it from the start. Leave it to net, Zach. I will review it and let you know. Tippeth is so soft. You don't need to be that be kind to a degenerate like net, Zach. It's a bad influence to all, and the ti and the plan came two days later than I asked. But net, Zach can work fine when he when it wants. You know that. The result is not important. The point is, Angela is too easy on us. If I were her, I would have punished the addict, the addicted at once. Well, that would please ye, Sod. Why don't you two discuss about penalty points? I guess it would be productive. Be quiet! Just go back to the upper level where you belong! I was about to. Bye, Tibbeth. Bye, bye Ned Zack. The upper seraphs are so lazy. Not that I like the middle seraphs. I like the mirror seraphs. They're all, they are cheerful and make me laugh. 
How many times have I told you not to laugh around? We are to be strict and stern. We are the central team. I know, Tib Tibbereth. By the way, don't we have don't we have something to discuss with the manager? Oh, you're still here? Well then, I have an assignment. Don't fail me. The manager will do fine, as always. And could fail, as always. The central team is holding the abnormalities to a specific location. The abnormalities become unstable over time and Quipquoth Overlord Gage in Quipquoth Overload Gauge, you've seen it shows. We have our own limits, so please shom finish the job without any pl problems. Clear clear to Quipquoth Meltdown level 8 or less. By that do you mean get to like 8 points of stacking the abnormalities where I refuse to even get to the third level? Or what? Clear the thing where it does the work on this abnormality, a couple of uh, thing. I guess we're gonna find out. So, you're brand new and you're a death level creature. That's quite nice. You're obviously going to be a you, a tool because this place is huge. Apparently. Okay, we have some weapon. We've got some a two, we got at least two employees in every section now, with a little weapon variance between them. If I click this, I go back to day tw 21. Yay! This is going to take me like two and a half hours, isn't it? So what we got over here? A flower and a book. Okay, we don't care about either. Very high. Work on the current. See what ha- See how well you do. We're getting more points with the Dreaming Current. Probably. Now that we've got level 3. Now that with the level 3 Fortitude. Cool. Cool. I think you can decrease stats as well. So I can decrease it at the end of the day. If necessary. But if you can't. Oh well. Crap happens. So yeah. For now I'm just going to zoom ahead to the point which isn't boring. So wabba dabba 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 do. It actually is. It actually is. Get to level 8, stage 8, when I refuse to go to even stage 3. Christ alive. Aren't you being a bit cruel right now, game? Alright, so we got a yellow pit, a white pitcher, which means it's going to be the Dawn of Violet, I bet. And if I am correct about that, it does make it obvious so that we can in order learn basically where and how to fight everything. Additionally, it means because employees aren't technically restricted to their areas, we can get a group in a, from a section to basically go around and kill all the th annoying things. It is a pl it is a possibility. The only one we can't do that for is the the Dawn of Crimson because it teleports around and specifically targets the abnormalities where all the other ones target the employees. So technically, by that logic, if you have the ability to handle the, the, uh, the ordeals, the Dawn of Crimson is the worst one because it teleports around. We are, without a doubt, not avoiding a dawn today. And frankly, we might even get the, the that bloody noon, as they call it. Which is going to be annoying and all to all hell and back. I'm not actually sure how I should fight the, da the dawn of violet yet. But other than that, we should be fine with it. So let's send Elena into this, pl into the to do her job. Piper to do her job. And then when the dawn happens, we're going to look at where everything is and send the appropriate people there. What are these things' weaknesses? They are weak to white damage. 
Cool. You are resistant to white damage. Gallia, go murder it. The normal to black damage. The normal to everything. You're a fruit of something. Fruit of understanding. What? Okay. And you've got you've got a long range weapon too. Frankly, I think you should be able to deal with that down there. You've also got resistance to black R to Come on, where is he? Yeah, you've got also got resistance to black damage. Heck, you've got resistance to everything. Wow, the crumbling armor's armor is actually pretty half decent. So, you can also fight this probably pretty easily. How are you all doing? I need to make sure they're all... I heard something explode or something, maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. So, the game crashed again. I think I'm gonna have to check the log reports and send it a w and send them a basically lo a crash detail on why this is happening because I don't like it. So, I have been recording for an hour and a half, which is normally the length I record these videos for. So I'm afraid, despite the fact I have not made properly any progress in terms of the story, I am going to leave the video here. I apologise, and I promise I will do better next week. Because we won't be dealing with learning the new abnormalities. So, until next week, where I hope I see you all again, despite this abrupt, disappointing ending. I hope to see you again next week. I have been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you again. I say for like the fourth time, but until then, I must bid thee all farewell, good day, and finally, as you can see from outside, good night.